Welcome, Diane Reeves, to Kulturport at Elb Jazz Festival. We are very pleased to have you here tonight, and um, we just saw an extraordinary performance of yours. And um, you're a four times Grammy winning artist, and you also have a new CD out called Beautiful Life. And um, after your performance here tonight, what would you say? Did you feel a little bit of the beautiful life here? This is an incredible festival, chock full of amazing artists, you know, and um, it's just really nice to be in this kind of atmosphere of creativity and, you know, people going to hear music without boundaries, you know, not caring about, you know, genres, but soul and spirit. I just um, discovered that you know about the dirty loops that are performing here. Um, how come? You know, I listen to a lot of music all the time, and um, uh, they I came across them maybe about a year or so ago, and uh, just kind of kept up with them on YouTube to hear what they were doing, and I understand they have a new record coming out, so. Your music, as we could hear tonight, is about jazz, it's about soul, it's about a little bit of funky music, it's a bit of Brazilian music, and um, maybe you can tell us what your musical socialization was like when you grew up. I listened to everything, there was a lot of music around, I was always extremely curious about anything, music, and um, you know I came up at a time when um, there were great R&B artists, um, great jazz artists, you know, they did things together, they talked, they talked about one another. And it, like I said earlier, it wasn't about the kind of music you sang, but the way you sang it and what you put into what you sang. And that, that was important, so I listened to that and then, of course, a lot of jazz musicians started going to different countries and working with master musicians of those countries. So, you know, through Wayne Shorter, I, I became hip to um, music of Brazil, through uh, Dizzy Gillespie, the music of Cuba, and then I just went on my own journey and, you know, listened to a lot of stuff. You're from Denver, Colorado, as far as I know, and um, how was the music scene there? Where did you get in touch with jazz there? Actually, it was pretty rich because I come from a family of musicians. Um, one, my very close and just my heart, uh, George Duke is my cousin, and he passed away um, just not too long ago. And, um, you know, it. I grew up in a household where people, if they didn't play instruments, they listened to great music. And like I said, everybody listened to everything, you know, so that was my life growing up in Denver. Plus, all of my family, including myself, we're from Detroit. And um, so, you know, going back and forth to Detroit and, you know, just being involved in music and Motown and everything, yeah. But I think you also had some mentors who really put you on the track and maybe you can tell us about them. Yeah, you know, early on uh, when I was in high school, I was singing with a, a jazz band and we won this competition that allowed us to go to this um, convention, this jazz convention in Chicago. And I met Clark, the great trumpeter Clark Terry. And, um, you know, he just embraced me. And I started doing gigs with him with all of these like really famous musicians that I didn't even really know who they were, but they were incredible. And they taught me the language, you know. Um, they taught me that the language was beyond words, that it was an intimate exchange, you know, that it was alive and that it was in the moment. And so I took from that and kept on going, you know, started working with a lot of different people and continue to. Whenever I see you perform, it's like you're a brilliant communicator because you uh, involve your audience into the um, performance and you talk to them and you like um, give something you get something is it something that you learn on tour there's this like exchange going on on stage and we want to invite everybody to be a part of it because you know that's part of the magic and um, you can have everybody you know there on kind of one accord you get lifted and that's a thing that I love you know every night is to to feel like I'm not on my feet that I'm you know above 
you know, the clouds. And um, that happens, you know, kind of spiritually when the audience is into it and they hear every subtle detail and they're following you. So you invite them to be a part of it. And um, I've, I remember that um, George Clooney invited you to be a part of his movie, Good Night and Good Luck. How did that come across? When they invited me originally, I thought, you know, it was just to sing the soundtrack and, you know, my song would be at the end with the credits. But then they sent a script and it was amazing and I realized that he was going to direct it and he was a lover of jazz music. But the thing that I loved more than anything was that uh, when we got to, to do the movie and he, I was being directed in the mu movie, I asked him, I said, well, are we going to record these songs? Do you, you want me to, you know, lip sync them in the movie? He said, um, no, he said, this is jazz. We want you to deliver your lines in the movie, just like the actors deliver theirs. And so that was like right up my alley. So it was great. It was an amazing experience. I remember you telling the story about George Clooney and the concert, and um, it was so funny how, how you uh, said he called you. <laughs> yeah, he's really something. He's, um, he's a very, very smart man, but very funny, and you know, he has a very dry sense of humor, but um, to be with him, and he's really great to look at. I mean, he's, you know, some people only look good on the screen, but off screen, he is just as good looking. And I think it's just his personality and just, you know, his fire about, his passion about what he's doing. And so it was really cool to be a part of his fashion for two and a half days. So I loved it. <laughs> Here today you had a wonderful band with you and it's a long-term companionship as far as I know. And I think this band has some kind of spirit here. And if you um, think about the spirit that this band has, what would it be called? Oh, that's easy. It's called freedom. You know, everybody is who they are. They contribute. They have their own personalities, their own uh, harmonic vocabulary. We feed off of one another. And because of that, you know, we all just like, you know, are free. And that's what I love. I don't want any restraints on stage. And I don't have them when I'm playing with my musicians. And if you think of Elp Jazz one more time, what would it sound like? Oh, you want me to sing it? Everybody stay lifted, mm -hmm. everybody stay up, mm -hmm. everybody stay lifted, <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much, Diane Reeves, for being here. Yeah, thank you very much.